Empowering people living with human immunodeficiency virus using mHealth. The healthcare system can be difficult to navigate for people with chronic conditions. Remaining up to date on patients' health data can also be a challenge for healthcare professionals. Dr. Bertrand Leboucher and his team at the McGill University Health Center are working to better meet the needs, preferences, and specific circumstances of people living with HIV and their healthcare professionals through mobile health, mHealth. With the growing use of smartphone technology, mHealth offers a highly flexible approach to promote self-management, offer guidance, enable easy access to health records, and improve communication with healthcare providers. This may empower patients to be more involved in decision-making about their health. HIV is now treated as a lifelong chronic condition. To maintain a near-normal quality and length of life and to reduce the risk of transmission, people living with HIV must adhere to their antiretroviral treatment. As with most long-term drug regimens, maintaining adherence is often difficult. While also developing approaches to meaningfully engage patients in research, Dr. Leboucher's team has been working to better understand and improve adherence since 2012. A qualitative review conducted by the team identified that barriers to adherence can originate from virtually all areas of a person's life. In a project entitled the I-Score Study, the team developed an electronic patient-reported measure, an mHealth tool for people living with HIV to identify barriers to taking their treatment and report these to their healthcare professionals before clinic appointments. The tool aims to improve patient-provider dialogue and management of these adherence difficulties. In 2018, a team at McGill University created OPAL, a patient portal to address specific difficulties experienced by oncology patients and their clinicians. Dr. Leboucher quickly saw the potential for utilizing the award-winning OPAL app for his work with people living with HIV. An initial survey of 114 people living with HIV on the perceived utility of OPAL indicated that nearly three quarters would use OPAL. Several of OPAL's features were widely appreciated, including those for checking scheduled appointments and receiving educational material. Recently, Dr. Leboucher proposed that OPAL could support COVID-19 patients in self-isolation at home by allowing them to monitor their symptoms and to be linked to healthcare services, including teleconsultations and mental health support. A pilot study of the OPAL app with 50 COVID-19 patients is currently underway to evaluate the feasibility of using OPAL for this purpose. Dr. Leboucher and his colleagues have also been working on an intelligent conversational agent, a chatbot named Marvin, short for Minimal ARV Interference, to provide practical information to people living with HIV. This automated AI-based solution is trained to have a naturalistic conversation style via text or voice messaging to help people living with HIV to overcome several of their adherence barriers. Marvin has the benefit of being available 24 hours a day. It is confidential and can send automated reminders to take medication. These innovations by Dr. Leboucher's team involve important multidisciplinary collaborations. They also integrate input from patients and other stakeholders into the design and development process. Finally, they illustrate the tremendous potential for developing cost-effective and customized applications to improve the health status of a wide range of patient populations.